The Hitchhiker from 1953 was an entertaining and creepy crime film, and normally I will admit I'm not a big fan of the kidnap hostage motif in films or even in television. It reminds me a little too much of the formula from old shows like MacGyver, where, you know, he's kidnapped by enemy agents to retrieve sensitive information, and basically you know the format is going to be this. There's a kidnapping, and then for the next hour, we're going to be treated to the rantings of the lunatic while the hero or heroes sit there at gunpoint, occasionally asking a nervous question until they either break free or the authorities arrive at the end. Now, however, I have to give this one credit in that it does use that formula, but it still remains interesting and creepy, and there's some really great acting involved. So the story is basically... Edmund O'Brien plays Roy, and Frank Lovejoy plays Gilbert. These are two guys who are headed back from a fishing trip when they stop to pick up hitchhiker Emmett. Bad mistake, guys. Don't do that. Don't pick up Emmett. He's played here by William Tallman of Perry Mason fame. And while I enjoy Edmund O'Brien in a lot of these films, to be honest, he doesn't have a very dynamic role here. It's mostly just him and his friend just sort of sitting there looking alarmed and frightened, as you would expect, as this lunatic holds them captive as they go driving. And honestly, the star here is William Tallman, who is just flat out creepy as this kidnapper. It's more than just his creepy persona and that lazy eye and everything, but it's rather the fact that he is a believably realistic creep. You get the impression that he's done this type of thing before. In fact, the film establishes that he has. And he has everything figured out and anticipated to every detail, such as telling Roy to keep his hands high on the wheel when driving, and where and when they should stop and what they should say when they pick up food. He even manages to convince the guys that he may or may not be awake at night because he has that one lazy eye that always sort of remains semi-open and he keeps it fixed on him at night. I mean, that was pretty creepy. And we also see that he's a touch sadistic. Well, early in the film, you know, he pulls over and he has the guys do a little target practice while his poor character Roy is holding a can. He makes his friend Gilbert shoot the can out of his hand, you know, to see if he's a sharpshooter. Yeah, that was pretty mean. So right from the beginning, we know this guy is off his rocker. So the film details their trek across Mexico and the slow but steady pursuit of law enforcement. I'm not going to give too much away with this, but I will say it's an entertaining trip and man, poor Roy and Gilbert are really looking haggard and exhausted as we near the end of the film. So does Emmett get away with his crime and what happens to Roy and Gilbert? Well, you'll have to check this one out to see for yourself. It's a brief film, but it was entertaining. And notable about this film was it was directed by actress Ida Lupino, who I've really enjoyed seeing in various crime noir films as well. I really loved her in the film They Drive By Night, especially. So in addition to being an excellent actress, she's also a very talented director as well. Really did a great job with this film. I also like that for a film from 1953, I thought they did a decent depiction of showing the people from Mexico. The shop owners, the helpful passers-by, uh, investigative police, etc. I didn't really pick up, you know, any stereotypes. And instead, the lead detective of the La Policia really seemed determined to find this killer that was on the run. And it was also interesting, too, as you watch the film, there's you know, substantial chunks of dialogue in Spanish without subtitles. And that really put my two semesters of high school Spanish to the test. Anyhow, that's my review of The Hitchhiker from 1953. It's an entertaining crime film. It's worth checking out. It's currently streaming on Amazon Prime if you want to check it out too.